Hello Anthropology 120L laboratory students. Um, this video is to brief you on what we're going to be doing with the laboratory course for the rest of the term. Uh, as you know, or hope you do or have read, the information bulletin put out by the college, um, what's going to happen with courses concerning the COVID-19 outbreak. Um, this course, this laboratory section, is also going to be moved online. And I'll tell you how we're going to proceed with this. Um, first off, we're going to follow the laboratory workbook um, and the sequence that I prescribed on the syllabus. Now, on the syllabus, it doesn't actually uh, tell you the dates because I would normally have done that on a weekly basis. Uh, what I will do is post a, uh, a, a date sheet below this or a, a schedule sheet below this, which will show you which exercises and which labs to do on a week per week basis. Okay. Uh, one thing to note about the workbook, uh, many labs that will say in a group or as an individual, that means you can't actually work in groups or as individuals. So you can do this on your own. The lab materials themselves, if they ask for visual materials, are going to be at the end of the exercises or the end of the workbook. So thumb through that and look at where the visuals are. Okay. All right. Now next. Uh, getting a hold of me and for assistance. Uh, what I'm going to do is be on campus on Mondays and I'm going to be in the lab room. I'll probably be there no later than 11 a.m. and I'll stay for two hours, so 11 a.m. to 2 a.m. to work one-on-one -on -one with you if you want to stop by the lab. And it's probably going to be a pretty good time to be on campus. There's not going to be many people there at all, so the risk of transmission is low too. Um, next, uh, getting a hold of me besides in person, email. You know, uh, being uh, online like this gives me a lot more access or, or time to actually read the emails and respond to you. Um, so, any questions about the labs or, or, or anything, any, any issues, please get a hold of you by email. Um, one potential thing that I can do the website, because it's based in a WordPress sort of format, um, I can just engender or build a blog page pretty quickly, which will help you type questions or concerns in instantly, and I can get back to you fast that way. So uh, give me a little time to think about how to implement that, but for now, email only. All right. Uh, so next, uh, concerning uh, the COVID and, and what's happening here, a little bit more detail, you know, why school is canceled and, and all this sort of stuff. Um, it's not because there's a risk to your generation. Uh, really, this is an effort to sort of flatten the transmission curve. And really, it's not going to we're not going to stop this thing from entering the population. But what we want to do at this point is prevent the hospitals from becoming saturated with critically ill patients. So everybody gets, you know, the care that they need. And this is not so much for you, but it's for elderly folks. Right. Or are people at 60 years of age or older so that they get the care. All right. So um, panic on, on our end is certainly not going to help. Um, and but what will help is successfully completing this course and getting on to the next year because this will end too. All right. Talk to you guys later.